Yo people, I decided to make this video back in English. It's about work, it's about your graphic settings. Uh, graphic really affects your FPS as you can see here, but it's red because I'm recording right now. I know if you see it as red. Anyway, back to graphics. This is how you should put your graphics. I don't know about the crosshair, but this is if you want a pretty decent FPS. It's also depending on your computer, the ability of your computer, blah 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 blah. But this sort makes that you don't have as much FPS lag as normal as when you play everything on high. You don't need to play everything on high because it just like physics makes things look nice and the facts I don't even really know what it does. The two most important things on high are world model and shadows because <clears throat> you can see with more with this you can see people's shadows through walls and let's say a Kali when they're like on the new snipe. You can see it when you're walking below that when there's a shadow on the floor but nobody with you. You know there's somebody upstairs which gives you pretty much the advantage on killing that person. Um, if you want a really serious explanation about all the graphic settings, I will add a video of Jake. Well, add, I will share a link in the description. He really researched this all through, so all the credit goes to him. I'm just showing this off so more people know this and have a better game experience. I'll also tell you a little about the weapons that I prefer to that I prefer and like. Right now over to the item shop. Well I'll start with the assault class. <clears throat> I don't get it why it was. Is this the assault class? No, oh, it's only sniper. Why um goodness sake, is there yeah. Alright. I like SCAR, SCAR Project, AK is a gun you really need to, well, a lot of people are good with it, I personally don't really like it because it has like a serious recoil, but if you're good with it, I think the damage is pretty nice. M4H1 is really good. Is a really good one, only it's now level 16, so you need some practice in order to use this gun, but I think it's really nice. If you run an X though, you can get the gold one, which is even better. Um, L, A, yeah, no, this one is just a nice, it's just a nice gun to have. It's only a shame you can only get it by using Max and Cash. Tar is like the famous for non-caching players. I think the M16H4 is a nice gun if you want to try something. Yeah, I consider it sort of basic. It's nice, it's actually the first assault rifle that I started to could get good with when I started to play war years and years ago. This one needs some training, but it's decent. If you can get this one, I really like this one, but it's always on premium and always takes your annex, so I barely have it. Don't get this one. I really hate this gun. The sound is annoying. The damage is annoying. It takes forever to shoot at people. You have a serious lack of accuracy and the recoil is just so much that even when you aim you are you're almost certainly to miss. I rarely see someone using this one, the Dechtiera Njoftov, whatever you call it. So I don't really know, but I don't like this gun. Let's see, I don't know about well, this is the Kamikaze rifle. If you're really good with it, well, use it. Uh, I don't know this one because it's NX only and never had it myself. So this is a decent rifle for the assault to start off with. If you go out for zombies, get this one, but you need to be level 11. This has uh, enough ammo to basically wipe out most of the basic zombies, including heavies. Only watch out with a chariot you or a crusher, you rather have a machine gun, but I'll come to that later. Some people really like this one, I personally don't really have an opinion because I rarely use it. Um, this one is okay. I think this is a nice gun, but it's a little diff more difficult to handle than the other ones. 
Now another scar, I really like this car. It's a bit more heavier gun that takes takes a little bit more effort to control, I think. But if you win it within a few shots, if you're a well you just kill someone. I don't know about this one. <coughs> Sniper. Sniper is really difficult because well for members there's only so many you can do on fifth slot and actually all of them well okay the NT and the W20 is okay if you like to do a lot of battle group a lot of people that don't know what they are supposed to do in Humvees and just sit there and do nothing you can just easily shoot them, shoot them with this one this one has the most ammo for the fifth slots but yeah it does only one zoom so and it deals like terrible damage even on a headshot so I think this is one of the only sniper rifles that doesn't instant kill on a headshot. Or, I don't know, I just tried it actually today, and I was pretty sure I did headshot someone and he didn't die. So either that person is hacking or this rifle is really failing. Personally, I don't really like the sound, but if you need some ammo for a sniper, just get this one. This is a silenced one. If you're a better sniper, this is a nice one. Only problem is it has only one arrow, because it's a crossbow per shot so you shoot and you instantly have to reload you got a lot of ammo and you deal like almost a certain kill but yeah you know what I mean if you sh miss your shot you're basically down to your gun or to your other sniper rifle because you're on a fifth slot forgive me just really have to feel that shot. Well, back to the third slot I think this is the new one I still have to try it out so please tell me what you think about this one PSG one is nice. I think it's a really good sniper to start getting used to it. Alf is the most hated gun in the game. It is the only automatic sniper I think right now. Some people are really good with it. I just prefer to yeah, well, I just rather pick the assault and then just start killing people. Don't like the DSR. Some people are really talented in using this one. I really don't get why. That would be me. SSG is nice if you don't really have the level to buy the PSG1 or the IEA. Sorry, I really messed that up in English. Well, anyway, it's a it's a decent rifle. If you have to, if you're like low on cash, but doesn't don't want to use your M24, well, get this one. No, no, really. This is the. Hmm, let's think about this one. It has more ammo, but it lacks a little bit of power, so I think you really need to headshot with this one. I, didn't, I don't really use most of the shop sniper rifles because I'm basically one eye ring sniper. I got a Christmas, I got a VSS, I got a Black Thorn, and I got an M24, so I'm fine basically. Oh, yeah. Some people are like super talented in sniping. Do I have more? No, not really. Not too much special. This one's really nice. I think. You need to have a little better performance on level 16, but it is a decent sniper rifle. Although it lacks, it says 100% accuracy, but it lacks accuracy on long distances. So you need to really to figure out where the bullet is going in order to hit someone straight. But you will figure that out for good sniper. This one seems to be really nice for a lot of players. A lot of I see a lot of players using this one. I didn't use it myself, but I'm curious to try, so I will soon. I see this one a lot too. I did use it. Well, it's okay. It's a gun to use. But yeah, I'll see if you like it yet or no. I don't know about this one. It looks nice. It looks a little bit like a <laughs> assault rifle. Okay. This one's nice, but it's only NX, on NX only. So yeah. Don't be confused about the 32 bullets, it can easily kill 2 or 3 people in a normal battle and well you need 2 bullets to kill someone in a headshot battle so you can count that out. K1 is really good, it was actually the starting rifle of the medic and engineer but because it was too overpowered they changed it to the MP5. Still when you're level 6 and you don't know what gun to buy and you like to play medic or engineer, get the K1, seriously get the K1 or the K1 gold. Just do what you like. Although the K, I for some reason I really believe the K1 gold is better than a normal K1. I don't know why. I just feel that way. 
This is a gun you need to get used to, but it is really nice. It has more ammo. It's only level 21 now. Which makes it harder to use for new players. But, well, that aside, it is still a nice gun. I got one retail. So. Mm -hmm. Nice gun if you need a lot of ammo. P90, 50 bullets. Certainly serves it does. <laughs> Spray. Besides, if you like to play zombies and you don't run the engineer, you can buy this one. If you have the engineer, it's already on your 8 slot, so get another one. Um, some people really seem to like those guns. I rarely use them. I personally don't like the PP2000. Because it has like two last bullets for an assault, for a main rifle, excuse me. But it's up to what you think is good. I personally don't like this one. Did use the orange version of this one. It's okay. It lacks accuracy, I think, and it lacks some damage. And I don't see too many persons use it, but if you like it, you should, you can try it. Um, heavy trooper. This one seems nice. I see a lot of new players running it since it's out. Lots of people use it and kill some people because it obviously has a lot of accuracy, so that's nice. I like the RPG because when you hit someone with an RPG on the body, it's an instant kill. I hate Stinger because it's you know, well, only anti-air. Yeah, only anti-air, so you really need to use to do battle group in order to use this one. So I don't like it, I don't like battle group too much. Flash is awesome for zombies. This one's nice for zombies too, but I personally prefer Engineer, I think my last year is a bit the same as the medic. What I would pick, if you have, let's say you have access to all weapons, and I'm going to my inventory. Depending on what you're going to do, let's say for the zombie hunters, I prefer a setup like this. Get the mini me, I call it the mini me, and the G36 CD. You have like combined with extra clip. You have like two. This is 200, 300, 600 bullets on those two rifles. Assuming you have extra, extra ammunition item. Just run an MP5K. 40. It's just like it's a very stable gun, and you know you can use it very well. It's not hard to use this one. For zombies I don't support ballistic knife. I normally run a katana for some reason, it's expired, so either get a hand bill if you have it during Christmas time, or any knife you want. If you really don't know, if you want to go in full damage, just get the katana, or the sword, excuse me, it was called katana before. It was stronger before, but it still, it still like wax most of the zombies in one blow. Mm, let's see, continuing with that. Well, adrenaline and stamina, basically, adrenaline for when henchmen hit you in zombie mode, and or when you're like really low on health on a close quarter battle, just use it, and you won't bleed out. In zombies, you can bleed out, so always keep this with you, unless you have like the compression bandage, which you can buy in the item shop under section of items. Scroll down here. Compressed bandage, extra clip one, gives your assault rifles and machine guns an extra clip. So, let's say for the weapons I just selected on my assault, that's 200 bullets more. I think it's really worth it. Also, I think a real tip is pick a crosshair you like. I like crosshair 3, they're not too expensive and they really boost my aim. Even though I, they don't add accuracy or something, I just prefer them. Um, let's say if you go for a... Uh, Let's say a deathmatch or a big head one. F2000 is really good because it has like a lot of accuracy on a lot of distances. You can scope with this one. It's the Dutch one. I don't. For, I think all of them run a scope. And pick well here. Pick one who want to use as a backup rifle. When people tend to get close and on your nerves, pick a fast one like the Famos or M4A1. 
or an AK, if you like, if you like the AK. I prefer the spawn mouse or the M4A1. I got a scar blood though, but I don't I don't support running the scar and the F2000 because they're both more well slow slower rifles that deal a lot of damage, but they're not good for reactions. So I prefer I think oh yeah, just get a FAMAS or an M4H1 if you don't run the FAMAS. <clears throat> Handball really annoys players if you want to really mess them up. Use a ballistic knife. Problem is, as you can see, my AG not doing right now. The hacking ability of this knife is terrible, but you can shoot it. You can shoot it at a player to deal 100% damage no matter where you hit them. So if you hit them in their in their leg, they instantly die. It's just a problem you have like one knife to shoot. If you miss it, you automatically switch to your second slot and can't pick up your first slot again. Until you recharge or the round's over. Engineer is basically the same loadout as my medic model. So as you know, well, I'll show this first. But since you have the P90, you already have like a lot of ammunition. It's the standard 8 slot of the engineer. Without the 8 slot item, you can change it. I prefer to use corpse. Because I really like the scorpions. And another rifle that I use for longer distances like the Vector or the K1, the MB7, H1. The crafted guns, if you like them, but a lot of people don't craft anymore because you can't win those items anymore. Just get an item that you're comfortable with and use it. If you would go hunting for zombies, with the engineer, which can be nice because you can like run ammo boxes, so you have like additional ammo for you and your team. Yet I would say don't use the scorps unless you have unless you don't have something else because it is nice for shooting headshots headshot on big zombies. But realize you're running out of ammo really soon because if you misclick with the scorps, you e you're very able to use four bullets at once for misclicks. So if let's say if you hold your mouse for three seconds. You're already down 12 bullets, which for, which for scorps is terrible because you need every bullet you can get in a scorp. The more you hit them with scorps, the more painful it gets. You just equip this one if you are playing on ammo. Because if you're going to shooting headshot, headshots, you can just pick a gun with a lot of ammo. And since you're on ammo boxes, you will recharge basically all of your guns. So I would say take items that have loads of ammunition and bullets and just go killing zombies. I think my the most it has more ammo. This one has more ammo. I would go for this lineup. With the and then including the katana here but I don't have it right now. So it just handles the strongest side. <laughs> These ones are strong for headshots. If you shoot a someone headshot with this one they're instantly dead. But for zombies I tried it, it's really terrible because zombies are not going to stand quietly until you walk up. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, shoot me a mad, please. No, they're just going to creep onto you. So just run something that's fast. If you don't have anything, just get your gold. No, don't get your gold. Can I have a 5k? For medic, I run the 8 slot instead of the heal. Because I wanted to try. I think it's nice because the medic has a lot of additional ML plus well you can get more faster more and faster guns. I like the K1 Christmas because it's basically stunning people and just annoying. Factor for long distances. I tend to I tend to swap this one out for either Scorps or sometimes the MP7 because but because I have already one already and I tend to go for either the K1 or the Scorpions. Also a trick a lot of people forget, let's say, forget about the 8 slot. So you have like 5th and 3rd for the premium users. Take the rifle you want to use in most situations, put it on your 5th slot. Use that gun. When it runs out of ammo, let's say you're in a close quarter battle. When it runs out of ammo, switch to your 3rd and start shooting the player. If you're good in this, it can, this can give you a lot of kills. When you run out of your 3rd, take your 2nd. So you can use the K1, the Factor, and the MP5K to shoot at someone. When when they do the opposite, like select their favorite rifle in three and have something derperish here. What's the what distance is and more annoying? Let's say you have controlling from three to five or from five to three. What's closer? I think three is closer. So you're just that one second can really save you Warwick because Warwick is a very quick game. I think that 
The, it's a small detail, but it can really save you a lot of time. In combination with the, the FPS, as I explained earlier, it can really save you a lot of, yeah, a lot of your KD, a lot of suffering, a lot of dying. It's just nice. As additional items, I will wrap this video up soon because it's getting too long. Additional items, I prefer uh, adrenaline and stamina. So get a six slot change, assuming you're a premium. Just get this one so you can equip two items at your six slot. Just press six again and you're switching. Get a crosshair you like. Get the SP up. Get the five percent SP up. You can get it from Dinar, so it's really okay. Get the extra clip. Get it from compressed bandage. If you like the sniper, do extra clip too because this is the only one for sniper. I don't. I'm not sure what if Heavy Trooper has one. I don't think so, except when they run a machine gun, like the MH3 box. Yeah, like the MG3 box. Well, I guess that's it. I think so. Yeah. Well, you have additional characters. I have some. I have a medic. My cool medic which boosts some weight reduction and SP usage reduction. I got mittens because they're like, well, it's winter. My sniper, normal sniper. I got a Jean as well, which boosts my accuracy, which is nice for like coming past the battles. Every character has its own specialty, so never underestimate the character because they are boosted. Well, I hope this was useful. I will add a link to Jake's video in the description, please all the credit for the graphics goes to him because he re researched this. I'm sorry my English is very terrible, it's pretty late, but I just wanted to make this video because it's fun and my clan members were asking for it, sort of, somewhere. So, I hope you liked, if you do, please press the like button, if you want to see more, please let me know, and I'll see you.